Hello, my name is Abed Sheikh, and I'm a friend of our program intern. Today, we'll be going over the bonds process through a question and answer layout. Okay, so let's start with what is a bond. A bond is a promise to Immigration and Customs Enforcement, or ICE. You're promising that if they release you from detention, you will go to all your court hearings and do what the judge orders you to do, even if that includes being deported. An individual can request a custody redetermination orally at a master calendar hearing in writing or by telephone at the discretion of the LJ.145. So, how can you help? Interfaith Movement for Human Integrity coordinates accompaniment programs that write to and visit immigrants in detention facilities. Through these programs, we identify individuals who can be released from detention by paying the Home Department of Homeland Security a bond. Your contribution can certainly make that difference today. The community has experienced success with bond fundraisers. In 2018, the Beria community raised $236,000 to bond out 20% of immigrants who were in the West County Detention Facility during its closure. This means 40 families were reunited, thanks to the coordination of bake sales, concerts, house parties, special collections, etc. Let's build and grow this momentum by donating and coordinating your bond fundraisers. Okay, so why is there a bond? Now, ICE wants you to guarantee your bond with more than just your promise. That's why the judge will require one of your friends or family members who has legal immigration status in the U.S. to give ICE a certain amount of money to make sure that you keep your promise. The lowest bond that the judge usually give is $1,500. There's the maximum amount for the bond. And so how much is a bond and why is it so high? Bond amounts are $10,000 on average and often higher. Many immigrants are still detained because they cannot pay. We as a wider community to coordinate bond fundraisers so these immigrants can be liberated from detention, return to their families, and integrate into the community. The lowest bond that the judge judges usually give is $1,500. There is no maximum amount for bonds. However, if you go to all your hearings and interviews, the person who paid your bond will get the money back at the end of your case. Okay, lastly, what happens after the bond? ICE has to give your bond money back once your case is over. That is if you have gone to all your hearings with the immigration court and all appointments. Thank you.